everybody, it's Angelo with Angelo's Workbench. We're here working on the Ravel Chevy Beretta Pro Street. This is video number four. We are doing the chassis assembly today. I am using Bob Smith Industries Super Gold Plus, which is a odor-free CA glue, so it is safe for clear parts, safe for chrome parts. Does a good job sticking to everything else as well. So let us continue on with chassis assembly. kit came with decals for the seats and door panels. I use a process where I use Micro Scale Industries Micro Set first and then I apply uh, heat from a hair dryer or if the decal I'm having a hard time getting it to lay down flat or I have some complex curves I will use the Micro Scale Industries Micro Saw which you also see in the picture. So a combination of both of those decal solutions, heat, and q-tips and a brush and I can usually get the decals to settle down very nicely. This last little bit of work with the decal setting solution will finish up the decals and here we have a completed shot with the main decals applied. Next we will move on to applying the seat belts. Since the seat belts kind of sit on top of the seat, I don't use any decal setting solution. I just wet them and apply them and let them kind of ride on top of the seat. Without the setting solution on, they won't settle down as much as the decals of the seat did. And it kind of gives an appearance that the seat belts are riding on top of the seat, just as in real life. 
With the decals completed on the seat, we can move on to assembling some more interior details as well as the beautiful looking roll cage. The steering column was a bit fiddly to get in, but I did eventually get it in there. Overall, the chassis built up very nicely. The roll cage looks great. The kit as so far is going great. I hope that you'll come back and join me in video number 5 where we will continue with assembly and move on to completion of the Beretta Pro Street. Thank you.